What up, loser? You like the frog that I glued to my <laughs> That's a good way to start the vlog. That is, that is a good way to start the vlog today. Yo, social distancing, what's up? Yeah, no, we found a dead frog on our walk. So I glued it to my fucking mirror so I can see him when I drive. I just have I just have a bunch of tools and trash in the back of this car. Well, now you have two extra tools. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I should probably explain what we're doing today. So, today we're taking... This is currently my mom's cross track. Um, we're taking it down to the Arlington Pick and Pull because we got word from... Uh, actually, who I picked up parts from with Brad the other day. Um, that there is a Saab 99, a 76 Saab 99 that just came into the Arlington pick and pull, which never happened, so I'm taking advantage of the situation. We're going in seeing what parts we can get from it. I'm mainly looking for the cold start injector fuel lines, as well as a passenger seat bracket, and whatever else I think is in worse condition on my car than on that one. So we'll see what's there. I, I don't fucking know, but these guys wanted to come with, so they're coming with. Um, well, they have that gas yo, cap. I need, that, that, I need a uh, fucking mm. trim piece for the hearse. He needs, he needs hearse parts. You I guys, you guys saw the hearse. The hearse is right here. The new exhaust uh, <laughs> manifold and door for the Geo. Yeah, literally those just anything for the fucking. Literally, the Geo <laughs> needs a lot of things. It does. All right. I need a hard line. You need the other frog. Anyway. This should be a fun day. All right, so we are here at Pick and Pull. We're gonna see if this 99 is really here. I'm, I. This, this is again word of mouth, so I have no idea. But if it is, we're fucking golden. I have my tool set. We can get parts off Five this car. Five bucks if it's a 99 uh, Saab 93. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I swear to God, every time I go to a freaking auto, auto parts store, they're just like, okay, so a 99 Saab. I'm like, no, a 76 Saab 99. So the hint that I got is that the car is somewhere in row eight, but I cannot confirm that until we see row eight. But we can walk, wander around and look at other stuff too, just see what's around. Pick and pull is always cool just because there's kind of everything here and you can always find something on something. So we're just going to wander around and see what we can find. All right, supposedly this is row eight, but oh, there it is. I see it. That's a Saab 99. It's a two door. Oh God, it's really sketchily put up here. Does it have the fuel lines I need? So there's your fuel filter. There's the top line that goes to the gas tank. Oh, it's be it's been cut. The line I need has been cut twice for the cold start. That's nothing. You got duct tape, right? No, dude. The connections are gone. I need the connections. That sucks. Uh, you need anything out of the interior? I probably will. Let's see if that um. Oh fuck, we can't get in. Is there a door handle on this side? There's no door handle, bro. We can't get in. We might be able to, if anyone feels confident enough to crawl in. I don't know if I feel confident enough to crawl in there, but yeah. the interior is not in bad shape. Yeah, I got it. You got? Yeah. You trust this, this contraption that it's sitting on? I mean, if you can pop either of these doors open. <sighs> Cat just crawled into this 99. Oh, oh. We got it. Ooh, interesting door handle. Mine oh, doesn't. Oh, yo, do you want an actual ignition? Ooh, I might want an actual ignition here. Yo, these seats are actually hella clean. Yeah, look at how clean these are. So, this. Oh, they just bolted it in. Uh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> so the bracket I need. Yo, I don't know what this is. What is that? Do you need it? That is something or other. Some kind of wiring. We should grab it. All right, take it. Let's take that. Um, okay. So you see this bracket here? That uh, is for the seats, right? Yeah. So, um, it's missing on this side too. And they just screwed it in here. So, I'm just going to look at this and note that for mine because mine is missing uh, that bracket on this are side. Your visor's in good shape? My visors are fine. My headliner is ass, but so is this one. This one's ripped. Yeah. Um, uh, yo, I'm going to get out of here real quick. Yeah, good luck. You should pop that door too while you can. Yeah, no problem. Okay, cool. This is indeed a Saab 99. They took the trim for this, of course they did. I'm gonna try and get as much off it. <gasps> fuses! Fuses, dude! I need fuses. I need fuses so bad. Let's get these fuses out of here. Let's look around the rest of the car and see if there's anything else that I need. These seats don't look like they're in bad shape at all, but mine are blue and I'd rather keep mine blue. It has bumpers. 
which my car does not have. I think they're ugly as fuck, so I'm not gonna take them. I gotta say, it's kind of weird seeing a Saab 99 that's more beat up than mine, but with a nicer interior. I mean, the interior in this car looks like it was well sealed and well preserved. Everything's here. I don't think anything else is worth saving in this car. This car is, there's a reason it's here. It is a complete loss. I mean, the body is completely destroyed and everything's rusted out. This one's got a ton more rust than mine has. Um, there are a few pieces that are savable, but nothing that my car doesn't have that's better. The headlights are still here. I mean, we can put this uh, hood down. We can kind of see what this car used to be. It was definitely a Saab 99 at one point, which is interesting. I mean, that makes this the fourth Saab 99 I've ever seen, including mine and including Stefan's. So, and I'll put I'll put up a picture of Stefan's because I love Stefan's car. He hooked me up with some parts, so shout out Stefan. Um, but yeah, I'm not really seeing anything else that's worth saving on this car, unfortunately. Um, the, all of the trim pieces that my car is missing are in black on this car, and I don't know that I like black. I'd rather have them in chrome. I'm not seeing any suspension components that I need. It was mainly the fuses, and then that fuel line, which looks like it's completely screwed, which really sucks. But um, I might try and take it off and uh, have new fittings fitted to here and to here, because if you look at it, this is how it works. This line goes to the tank, this is the fuel filter, there are two brakes off of here. One of these goes to the cold start injector, which goes in here, the other goes to the fuel distributor, which is normally mounted right about here. That part has been stripped from this car. This is the one that goes to the cold start, this is the one that goes to the distributor. They just literally cut it off, they kept the fittings. Um, this fitting and this fitting are things that I need, but I also need that fitting, so I'm gonna take that fitting with me because we can probably find a banjo connection that fits here and a banjo connection that fits here uh, via the ones that we have on the car. So I think that should be fine. I would get the cold start injector if it was still here, but it's not. I believe for the fuel filter, it is a 14. We're about to find out. Nope, I bet it's... I don't know, 16 maybe? Let's find out. Is that a 17? Yeah, baby, let's get this off of here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get that in there. We're gonna take it off. So I'm just gonna hold the fuel filter in place. Try and get this off. It's pretty rusted on there, so that's gonna be fucking difficult. Luckily, my socket set has two ratchets, so we can just get this right off. I'm hoping that we're actually able to pull this off of here. Um, oh, that's, of course that's not a 17, that's a 19 on the bottom. Let's use a long 19, I think we'll get a little bit more leverage. Okay. God, I cannot get that off. I might have the boys help me here. Because there's no, yes! Oh, that's the bottom one. So we got the bottom line off. Um, We'll probably take this connection. This is a good connection to have. I don't know if we have this on my car, but it's looking fairly clean. God, we can't get that top one off, but it's kind of annoying to pull parts off this car, not gonna lie. That's the most awkward thing in the world when you can't get a connection off because it's rusted on. I hate that. Update, I put it on the ground and stood on it and it came right loose. So we're gonna take this connection as well, as well as this split in the fuel line because I don't have this banjo connection. I can get the other two banjo connections, but I can't get this one because this is a dual line uh, banjo connection um, that I can't get on my car. So at least we're getting something out of this. Um, I'm just looking around this car trying to figure out what else I should take. We might have just driven an hour to get that and some fuses. You gotta be kidding me. Figured while I'm here, I might as well show you guys some of the other kind of cool stuff that they always have in here. I always like to look at the vintage cars. This is an old Honda Civic wagon. It's a four-door wagon. I would love to find one of these if it was clean and do some things to it. That's kind of one of the Hondas that I could see myself owning. Now the real question becomes, where did the boys go? I see Catch. He's way down there. 
All right, so we're starting to get back into SUVs and trucks and such. There's one Mustang there, but the rest is just kind of normal ass cars. I was just gonna see if I could find anything cool to chuck in the vlog, you know? There's a purple Z31, completely wrecked. But that is an interesting color for sure. So that 99 is not the only Saab here. This is kind of what I'd expect to be around. This is, uh, I believe, a 9.3. It's a 9.3 vert. Is it a 9.3? Let's find out. Uh, of course, the badges are gone. But I want to say yeah, it is a 9.3. Look at that. I totally called that shit. It's an 0493 vert. I mean, interior is still kind of complete. Air airbags deployed, so this car was obviously crashed. Got to get a nice thumbnail for the vlog. That'll do changed my mind wanted the thumbnail and hood downish form have you found anything that you need i think i might be able to steal hardline off of this so here's the brake master slave should be this guy right here yeah i need the hard line to it however <laughs> look at that fucking slave cylinder that is fucked <laughs> but the line might still be good yeah i think the line is fine do you want my tools catch what? So here's the slave. Okay. Here's the line to it. This probably had the B18 in it. That slave does look identical. Pretty fucked. It, yeah, but it looks identical. Well, yeah, no, this is this so. is for sure it. It's just. Is yeah, it grab, good? grab the line off of it. Hey, it's worth a shot. Jesus. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> a U dub plate. Yeah, plate Tucker, frame. Tucker, I found a couple geos. Uh, you want to try to get an exhaust gasket or an exhaust manifold off? With me? I could absolutely try. Oh, yeah. Fuck, dude. I doubt this is coming off in one piece. We'll see if it does. It's not gonna. We should have brought WD-40. Oh, actually. Dude, come coming right out. Look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Let's. Dude, get that off of there. Do you need an alternator? No, my alternator is good. Okay. Um, I always check. I need to do... Uh, I need a new exhaust manifold because the bolts. Dude, this still has the, the gaskets. Bolt down at the bottom are snapped off. Yeah. And uh, I can't get them <coughs> out. So I. We might have to pop this manifold off. I might come back for more things off that 99. I don't know yet. I'll probably look back I at mean, this footage. Hell, if you do, I'll come back for more geo parts. So I'll there, pop. There's nothing I can use for the hearse here. So for anyone watching, Just I. The only reason that we're here is. Because Stefan texted me and he was like, hey, there's a Saab 99 at Arlington Pick and Pull. You should go check it out. You should see if there's anything that you want to pull off of it. We didn't come here for any specific part. I came here for these lines, which I don't know if even the camera can see because you're directly in the way. We're just keeping everything. Anyway, I hope this is wide, wide enough angle that you guys can see. I came for these lines and connections. Of course, these were cut, which I hate when people do that. Just take the whole line off. But um, I think that was yeah, I just needed this line with these connections. I can get these two connections. I can't get this one. So this is a valuable piece that we got for my car. Um, and now we're just getting parts for these boys' cars. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, here, I'm going to move my camera. Ketch has a Geo Metro and a hearse, and uh, Brad has a Prelude, and they all need things. So we, we came here. They decided to come down with me just to see if there's anything that they needed. Yeah, we only that, buy shitty cars. Yeah, we, right. we only get shit boxes out here. I found a geo book. Ooh. I found another Wait, did you geo find book. An manual for my car? Is that what you said? Hell yeah. Dude, dude. hell yes. I got a funny fucking. <laughs> a, oh, from a Jimmy. <laughs> my God. And, and then this is a passenger mirror. Did you break it? No. I broke it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it'll work. Yeah. Gang, fun. gang. As long as it's not cracked, it's fine. No, it's Gucci. We good? This off, because, uh... <laughs> oh, shit! I can't get to those ones. Can you so... not jimmy that one off? Jesus Christ, man. Oh, God, that was a <laughs> terrible pun. I'm so God. mad at you now. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... I could try... back for an exhaust manifold. So I guess we're coming back. Yeah, I guess we're coming back. All, All right. right. Hatch open. So you I'm can't jimmy it open. Bradley, I swear to God. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> when we got here, by the way, they said that they had 30 minutes until they closed. Ooh, <laughs> so we're uh, we're pushing it right now. But um, 
We're finding good parts. You didn't bring any tools for my cars. I didn't bring anything for your cars. I, I just bought tools for my car. I my, my tools. They're, I would like to point that out. <laughs> did you did you ask? Yeah. I couldn't said, I don't oh, remember that. I don't remember that at all. All right. So, Brad and Catch are uh checking out and I figured we'd go over what we got today for my car. So, we have this fuel line. I'm mainly just needed this banjo connection. So, I'm probably going to have two other banjo connections mated to this. We'll probably get all new lines and I'll take it to an industrial shop or something that can make me some hydraulic lines. We have this, which we were missing as well out of the second half of the fuel filter. So I'll look back at this footage and see exactly where it goes. I believe the small one was on the bottom, the big one was on the top. Maybe it was the other way around, I couldn't quite remember. This is a voltage meter, which I don't need for my car, but I picked up because it's not essential for my car, but in case mine goes out, I'd like to have it. And any original parts that I can get my hands on, I will get my hands on. The boys are back. And we're smoking crap. All right, the boys are back. We got every single fuse for the entire car. Um, Those are fuses? These are fuses. These are the weird fuses that Saab 99s run. You want to they look like much, that. Uh, they want for one of those exhaust manifolds. How much do they want for that manifold? Uh, Forty-six, forty. That's not bad. Uh, that is three dollars and sixty cents less than a brand new one with a gasket. You might as well buy the brand new one. Three dollars and sixty cents. Jesus Christ. That's that's all I'd save buying a used one, a used <laughs> rusty boy. Car, what do you get? You want to show it to YouTube? He's got a bunch of badges. I'm gonna throw them on cars that don't. Have V8s or V6s on them. <laughs> yeah, we're putting all of those on the GL. What do you Hold get? Me, what is, uh, what's back there? Let me, do we want to show you two? undo my coat. Alright, so we got a nice a nice Ram Charger badge. <laughs> nice. Uh, which is my dick's next thing. Uh, we have a Jimmy badge. The Jimmy is nice. the best. And then a owner's manual for my Geo. So I can, you know, just have it. own it. All right. And manually. So I think we're gonna go run and grab food now. Yeah, sure. Hold on, I have more. You have, have more? more? You have more? You have more? I have, more? I have, more. I have, I have a, 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 a little chalky string boy without any chalk on it, but it, <laughs> it looks kind of neat. All oh, right. And then I found this, uh, this Santa Fe art auction pen that huh. doesn't write. Nice. But, so uh, nice. Where did, I've pen. already lost the, um. So I think we're gonna go get food and then probably head home. I'm not going to the shop today, um, so I'm probably gonna end this vlog. Yeah, fuck shops. Um, for real. Probably later. I'll, I'll end this vlog in the next clip. <laughs>